Hi, I'm Pauline. And I'm Big Sister Ross. And we grew up in a little fishing village called Greencastle in County Donegal. Today we're going to take you on a journey to Derry and Donegal and go off and see all the wonderful sights in the north and the south. Well, everything that's in all of Ireland we have up here, probably the most beautiful place you'll see. You get the best of both worlds. You have the visit to a historical, vibrant city called Derry, and then a short trip down the road, and you are spoiled for choice for beaches and the beauty of the scenery and the hills of Donegal. So really, to come here, it's like having two separate holidays. We're in Derry now. Some people prefer to call it London Derry. One of the last remaining wall cities in Europe. You can walk right around the city, and in fact, you can actually hop on, hop off at various parts of the walls. Derry itself could be described as a very vibrant young city. We have a university here, lots of young people come from all over the world to study. Along the walls you can also see amazing artefacts such as the cannons and some spectacular views from the walls as well. It's a walk that you're not going to forget. This is one of my favourite places in Derry, the Craft Village. So let's go have some coffee. really, really quaint here. It's like an old Irish village of years ago. This is a super little place to find. It's like a little city within the city. Gone off through a cycle along the River Foyle. There's nothing quite like going for a really nice cycle, but we are very lucky. We've got this amazing uh, cycle path that takes you from Derry to Donegal. It's about seven miles out, seven miles in, but it is just beautiful. No traffic, lots of trees and lots of water. Just what you want. Well, we have you in the village of Greencastle. This is our home where we were brought up. This place is very special to us. Certainly when we were growing up, we used to set off in the morning at half past nine and we'd walk along here, head to the beach and our parents didn't see us till half past seven at night. That's when we ran out of food, we were hungry and we came home. The great childhood. You know, it was so safe and free. The freedom up here was amazing. Donegal's really beautiful, especially the Illichon Peninsula. So the beaches are just fantastic. We're going to head to Kinnigo Bay. The scenery is breathtaking up there. When you drive down the hill to Kinnigo Bay, it's a wow. You have arrived in heaven. The golden sand and the Caribbean Sea, it's just amazing. Wow! <laughs> I've done bodyboarding here with my kids and uh, it's fantastic. It's safe and it's fun. It's an amazing beach, famous for the Spanish Ramada that sank here a very long time ago. We collect great shells and stones. OK, back to childhood. Let's see who can skim the best stones. Hey, five! <laughs> We're on our way to the Curiosity Shop now. It's actually, I'd say, the most northerly shop in Ireland. It's on the way to Malinhead. Malinhead. Hi, nice Peter. To meet you again. Hi, Peter. Nice to see you again. How are things? Not too bad. How are you? Can't complain. Can't your, complain. your little shop of curiosities is just amazing. So, what made you set up this place? It was a matter of, I had the stuff, it's a hobby. The wife said, either it goes or you go. Oh, right. So, so you both got thrown out? No, well, I figured somebody might buy this stuff, they won't buy me. <laughs> All right, well, you never know, you never know. So, We've had a lovely time here, and thank you very much. It's been really, really good. Thank you. And take care. See you soon. Bye. My pretty mad sister has decided to stop off and do a bit of horse riding. She's that way. I took the safer option and decided to uh, watch from the sidelines, but absolutely perfect beach. And I wish I was brave enough to do that because it looks like so much fun. You know when you're a child and in your dreams you dream of horses and galloping on the beaches and you know the Black Beauty soundtrack in your dreams? It's all here, look at it. This is Inishon, this is my Inishon. Walk up to beside me and just pet okay. him here. Okay. No, no, pet him properly. <laughs> bike, bike. Oh my god. Can't do it. Bike. You're such a wuss. I know. Scaredy cats. How were we ever born into one family? I don't know. So 
for me, to end the perfect day is to end at Malinhead, the, the sunset. northerly point in uh, Ireland, and to be there when the sun's going down. It is a spectacular sight this. and one that should not be missed. We are at the end of our journey, and unfortunately, it has come to an end. It's been a fantastic day. The weather's been perfect, and what better place to end, as Pauline calls? This is Little Ireland, where we have everything to offer that all of Ireland has. You come here, and we've got it all. And where better? Top of Ireland, Malinhead. Doesn't get much better. Come and see us.